All right, well, this is part two video of this repair. This is a Gallagher M800, the old style. This repair is basically the same as a Bev 3 Gallagher, or even a, uh, honestly, even a uh, Gallagher M1500 old style. The 1500 looked just like this one, except it was purple in color, and it had two capacitors versus one, and the, the main board had bigger capacitors on it to make it stronger. So now I'm going to, what we're replacing in here is a capacitor because it was a little weak. And the transformer, the transformer itself was, was bad. Uh, I felt the ground test. You can see a little burn hole there in the side. So I'm going to go get a new transformer, new capacitor, and we're going to do a little cleaning on the tabs up inside here. And uh, put it back together. So bear with me. I go get those parts. All right, I got the new uh, capacitor for it. This is the one we have made for the Gallagher M800 and Bev3. It's a little different the way that it looks. It has wires coming out the input and output sections of the transformer. But if you look at it side by side to an old one, it's basically the same thing minus that upper area. It's got the same kind of bobbin in there, right? Basically it's fully sealed with epoxy. It's, you know, it's all sealed up on top and bottom. And up inside here, the wires come out, it's all sealed up there. So it is a little different, but it plugs in the same way. So we are going to take these plates and we're going to slide them in here. Got to get them smacked in there. Sometimes if you can't get them all in at once, just you know, put a few in at a time. fit a few more typically you can fit almost all of them back in sometimes you can't get but like you know 98 percent of them so as long as you get the hole all filled up best you can you're good to go if you have extra just toss them i guess just kind of squeeze down and make sure that, that all the you know that way you get yourself some room there we go. Here we're able to use all but one. I could probably sneak it in there, but it is a tight fit. So we're just going to call that good. Alright, so all of them are in there. So now, if, um, if, you, if, you, if you didn't see part one, I'll have a link down below. That you can click on and watch it from the beginning to how to take it apart and how we tested it. Alright, so we're going to snake these wires through. There's two little holes down here. Put, you know, put one on the one on one side, one on the other. And he's going to pull the wires through. And then get the plates of the transformer set in there. And you're pushing it, it's kind of pulling the wires at the same time as you push on the transformer. fit all right there were wire wires plugging into the old transformer but we don't have the tabs on there like the original one did so we're basically replacing the wires that were on there with these ones and we're going to crimp on a couple of uh, female spade connectors a uh, quarter inch size And on the uh, secondary side, on the output, we're going to crimp on a couple of uh, male spade connectors to plug into that little board. All right, the black wire. There was a this one had brown and red. Some of the newer ones, later ones or whatever, they had black and red. Uh, we just we chose to use black and red on these. The black wire, that when you look at the back, it's on the left. It goes to this far left tab here. So you're going to plug that in there. Okay. And then this red wire is going to plug into our new capacitor. So we're going to put the wire right there. And then there's a red and a brown left over. So the red stay together. And the brown one goes over here, doesn't matter which tab you choose. 
go right there. All right, and then we've got those other metal plates. These ones here, these are going to stack up in front of the transformer, like that. And you need to put this clamp back in. Um, put the side in first, and it goes over here. A little uh, area is kind of notched out. Push it in so it comes out down here. And then take a flat screwdriver, kind of get started by with your hand over here where my thumb's moving, and hold it. Then take a flat screwdriver, go between it and uh, the, the case, and it's kind of working on there. That's how you get that on there. All right, now we need to crimp on a couple of male spade connectors over here. Cut off some of that excess. Crimp, crimp this on. Now, any part, if you want to send one of, the, of these in for repair to us, we'd be happy to work on it for you. Now we give free quotes, a uh, year and a half warranties on all the repairs that we do, and lightning damage is part of our warranty that we put on these things. Alright. Now I'm going to put this, well, first I'm going to clean these two tabs up a little bit. Look like they're doing a little oxidation or something on there at one time. Alright, now this board's next to go in. It kind of goes in like that. The screen wire is going to tuck it out of the way, so it's a little groove in this black plastic. This one's been uh, taped up or something. So let's wedge it down in there. That way it's out of the way. And then we're going to plug these wires in to go right where those old transformer tabs used to, or yeah, used to plug in that. So it goes just like that. Kind of push those down out of the way. And uh, I've got three little notches here on this board. There's three little sleeves. They plug on to each of, each of these three things right here. So, but you need to get this edge of the board underneath between those these white uh, things there so get it kind of lined up push in there as far as you can by hand and usually it's hard to push in the rest of the way by hand so um, get another flat screwdriver and just kind of take your screwdriver and push it that way and you'll feel it kind of work its way past this little black tab and just kind of tap it till it snaps down and then we've got our Replacement capacitor. I need to get it strapped. And it's a little bit bigger around than the original. Same, you know, microfarad is at 40. But I'm going to put this uh, double sided tape thing here. On it. This is just extra little protection to keep it in place. So I'm just going to push it in like this, and then I'm going to get a couple of um, these are just uh, you know regular cable ties, but they're um, they're UV treated so they handle you know the heat and everything. But you want to push that up underneath, and it should come up over the top like that. And put them back together. And then cut off excess. So that thing's not going to move. Alright, so now we're going to move this red wire out of the way. Plug. I saw something move. Nope, my imagination. So now we're going to slip this board down and we'll lift this up a little bit, probably to 45, so you get these little white plastic things uh, underneath the board when you set it down. Get those five tabs lined up. And you might be able to press them in by hand, but sometimes you got to give it a little love tap to get all the way on there. So now we're going to plug this thing in, see what it does. So 
clicking and snapping like it should. Not quite as fast of a pulse, which is good. It means it's uh, that capacitor's charging up more, not discharging as fast. Getting them at the same KV readings we were before, which is seven and a half. But we're gonna do that ground test like you saw, like I did in the first video. Now watch when I do this, that light will still flash. And um, last time the, the volts had dropped way off, it went down to nothing. So I'm gonna hook this meter back up here to the fence and ground. And uh, last time I did this, the red light went out and the voltage light went out over here and the voltage dropped down to zero, basically. But what's gonna be now, it should stay flashing red and the voltage shouldn't change. See, now it's working. So this unit is all done. So we brought another older unit back from the dead. And uh, perfect, you know, it's 50% new on the inside. It's not gonna cost 50% of the price of a new one. It's gonna cost a lot less than that. But uh, so if you've got one of these units, uh, be happy to work on it for you. We don't charge you any labor fees or service charges for looking at it. It'd be a free quote. And, uh, and everything. I'm going to throw away the old capacitor and old transfer. We don't need that anymore. But hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it was some benefit for you. It sh showed you how to <coughs> test and work on one. You know, this was, uh, there's other things that can go wrong with these. This happened to be the particular repair on this one. Um, if you need help troubleshooting, write us a comment down below or email us at our website. I think I'll have an email address down in the description area. You can send us an email that way. But hopefully you like this video. You know, beneficial for you. You know, go to our website, Fencer Fixer dot com and fencer and fixer is both spelled with an f as in frank you know if this has went somewhere else this would have been a throwaway unit it has a good had a good boards in it but they don't make the transformers for this anymore and luckily we have some made specifically designed for this unit so um if it went anywhere else they would have thrown it away and told you to buy a new one luckily you can, we fixed it and this guy was able to you know, he may have bought a new one, I don't know. Um, but this this would make a great backup unit because these old Gallagher units are kind of a tried and true generation of unit. They just go and go and go. You know, but this gets a year and a half warranty on the repairs. I want to do a um, lightning jump on it. If you buy a new Gallagher, you get a three-year warranty on the new ones. But we got a year and a half on the repairs. Lightning damage is part of our warranty. I'm going to do a spark jump on it. Can't see it, sorry. Uh, I don't know if it does it any justice or not in those videos, but it's nice sharp snap coming from it. Well, if you've got one of these units and you want it worked on, send it in to us. We work on all brands and all ages and models of stuff. Uh, work on a lot of Gallagher units, and but we work on all brands under the sun, whether they're still made today, or they've been discontinued for 20 years, or they were made 60 years ago or, or older. We work on everything. Um, but until we do another video... And how to work on one or how one is work you know works and everything. We will see you guys later. And like I said, I'll put part one down below and you can click on it and watch it and if you needed help start you know start from scratch on this unit. But if you got questions or something, give us a call. Or if you just don't want to fool with it, send it in to us and let us work on it for you. We'd be happy to help you out. Until we do another video, see you later.